Hello everyone, Oli the Repedu is here again. This is part 3 of the tutorial on how to hackintosh your machine. In this part 3, I'll be actually installing Mac OS. First, insert the hackintosh USB you created and tested in part 1 to your computer. As you can see, I already inserted the USB stick. Then, enter the BIOS. Turn on your computer and enter the BIOS. For me, I'll keep hitting the F2 key to enter the BIOS while the computer is booting up. Then go to security. Make sure secure boot is disabled and secure boot control is disabled. For me, it's already disabled. So, then after which, go save changes and exit and press yes. After which, enter the BIOS boot menu to boot the USB stick. By pressing the ESC button while booting, I select UEFI Toshiba has my drive is Toshiba. Allow it to boot. Select boot Mac OS install from install Mac OS Catalina. Allow it to boot. This will take a while. Once you boot to the Mac OS install, select this utility, click continue, select Mac OS. Do not select the wrong partition, otherwise, you will lose all your data and the Windows installation. Make sure you select the correct volume, click on Erase, I'll name it Catalina, then select APFS and click Erase. Allow the volume to be erased. Click on Done. Close these utilities, click install Mac OS, click continue. Sorry for the graphical glitches, as this is a known issue for my laptop model. Click continue, agree, agree, select Catalina, and click install. Allow the installation to start. And sorry for the graphical glitches, as I said, this is a known issue for my laptop running Hackintosh. Once it's shut down, quickly enter the BIOS menu, select your USB drive, go to boot Mac OS install from Catalina, allow it to load. <coughs> If this black screen happens, this is a known issue for this laptop. Just turn off the computer, force shutdown, turn on the computer, and go to the BIOS boot menu again. Allow it to boot to Mac OS install from Catalina. This is a known graphical glitch as well, not just the lines and artifacts. So if this black screen happen of or any graphical glitches, simply shut down and restart the process of booting to Mac OS.
Now you put up to the Mac OS logo. Allow the rest of the installation to proceed. Be patient. Once it's shut down, go back to the BIOS boot menu. For me, I'll keep pressing ESC till it shows the BIOS boot menu. Go back to the USB flash drive. Boot Mac OS from Catalina. Select like that. Allow you to boot. It seems the black screen issue will return. So I force shut down. Turn on the computer again. This is a known issue for this model. Go back to the USB drive boot. Go to boot Mac OS from Catalina. Now Mac OS boot up, but with the graphical glitch. All right, let's set up Mac OS. Alright, Mac OS is successfully loaded. You can move on to part 4 which is to install the bootloader to the EFI partition. So please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified when I upload the part 4. I hope you enjoy my tutorial.